of your coming. And he also told us that the zeal of the Lord shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Yesterday, our father was telling us that this season is a kind of a renewal, a new beginning. There is nothing that will illustrate better what a new beginning is than the death of Jesus Christ. He changed the history of mankind. He turned mankind back to God. He redirected mankind to God. Never a man like Jesus Christ and never again will be a person, any other person like him. Either physically or spiritual. Never. Never a man. Hallelujah. He's the only one that is on this side, is on this side. He begged for water from the Samarian woman, right? Give me. But on the other side of the Father, he walked upon the waters. He walked. No lie. Never a man like Jesus. If you are saying he's going to take this way, he will take the other side. He no lack, no lack. At the name of Jesus, every name. And they continue to buy even up to today. Never a man like him. He addressed 5,000 persons without a microphone. And they heard him clearly. We are less than 2,000 here. If there is no mic now, there will be trouble. Never a man like him. He know no lack. They say he should come and pay tax. He said, Peter, put the hook there. Bring out the fish. There is a gold coin in his mouth. No lack. There were no food. He fed, he fed thousands. Just by giving thanks. He knows no lack. That is the person, that is the credential of the person, of the personality we are celebrating. It's good you remind yourself. It's more spiritual than you think. It's more important than that you can ever imagine. Hallelujah. It's more than 2,000 years. But it's as if it just happened yesterday. It just happened now. It just happened this morning. He never said, he's the only one that never said goodbye. He said, I will be with you unto the end, unto the end of the world. He did not say goodbye. He was not voted in. He was not voted out. He has no beginning. He has no end. Can you celebrate it, Jesus? In the book of Hebrew, Hebrew 12, 2, it says he's the author and finisher of our faith. No matter what you are passing through, Jesus was celebrating. He gave all. He gave it all. He has come to renew you. He has come to renew your body. Pet wise. He has come. Never a disease. Never a sickness. Jesus. He healed all that came to him. He commanded the stone. Say peace. Be still. And there was a great calm. Is it those that died? He raised up the dead. There is nobody like Jesus Christ. If there is any other personality that has touched life, 
in the past, in the present, in the future, there is no one. The whole world acknowledging. He has brought hope. He brought healing. There is nothing that he did not do for us. Apart from saving us, he bore our sin on his body. He paid the ultimate price. Willingly. He has come to renew you. So that this next year, you will celebrate. Don't forget that. The blood of Abel is crying vengeance. But the blood of Jesus is speaking better things into our lives. He's speaking favor for us. He's speaking peace for us. He's speaking words for us. He's speaking healing for us. The blood is defending us. He's protecting us. There is no one like him. No one. Hallelujah. He left his name for us as an authority. If we call the name, darkness disappear. Only the name. Christ in me, the hope of what? Of glory. He left for us power, wisdom, and understanding. He gave us peace of heart. No matter the trouble, he gave us peace. Hallelujah. There is nothing, there is no area of our life that he has not touched. No one. He supply our needs according to his riches, not according to our trouble, not according to our sin, not according to our righteousness. He supply our needs according to his riches in glory. You can be a failure, he is still supplying. You might not be qualified. He is the one that qualifies the qualifier. The people that want to assess you, he will be the one that will assess them. The heart of the king is in his hands. He can choose to soften it. He can choose to harden it. Hallelujah. It is that same Jesus we are, we are celebrating now. He did not say that there will be no trouble, but he said, he will always be with us. So no matter what you are passing through, no matter the challenge you are passing through, He has come to renew us. He has come to give us a clean slate. He has come to give us hope. He has come to give us direction. He has come to give us a future. He has come to give us wealth. That is the Jesus we are talking about. A year ago, there was nothing like this place. He has come and he transformed the glory land. And you see, transforming. If this glory land can be transformed, what about your life? Your life is already in the process of transformation. You might not be seeing it now. Circumstances around you might not suggest it now. It's at times it's happened like that. You can sleep in nobody. And you wake up somebody. You wake up a prince. You wake up choosing one. You wake up married. You wake up you are already employed. You wake up to be a governor. You wake up to be the choosing one. You wake up to be the appointed one. You wake up to be in health. Jesus 
Transformation is already with you now. Favor is already around, around you. Authority, power is already with you. Just look very well, you will see it. The marriage is very close by. From January to now, some persons did not get married. But some people next week, next Saturday, they are getting married. If they told them, if they ever told them that you will be getting married in December, they will say no. There is no evidence. No man. But man has come. Wife has come. Some persons, they are pregnant now. They never thought of it. If God can do it for them, your own will be much more bigger and better. You are here to be celebrated. People will gather because of you. Last, month, last Friday, yes, it was on Friday, Saturday, I went to somewhere, went to do a naming. The place that I went to do naming, 10 years ago, I lived in an apartment. 10 years ago. That was 2013. 10 years ago. I had a problem with the landlord. And he threw me out of his house. In this time. 10 years ago. Of course, I was not a man of God, so when he talked to me as if I was a nobody, I got angry and I said, anything you want to do, you can do. It's your house. If you want to throw me out, throw me out. And he threw me out. Later, some many neighbors came and said, I'm just going to beg him, you know, apologize. I said, okay. I went to apologize. He said, no, you must go. I said, so, so shall it be. When I went this time around, somebody came and he was trying to introduce himself to me. And I told him, I looked at him, I looked at the house they threw me out of, and I said, and I told him, I said, 10 years ago, there was no man, not to talk about man of God. 10 years ago, the car that I drove here now, if they ever told me that then, that I will, a time will come, I will come, and I will drive down this kind of car, and I park here, I said, I will not believe it. 10 years ago, I was a nobody. 10 years ago, look at me. You are even coming now to call me man of God with honor, trying to. Ten years ago. Ten years is too far. Your own, your own, it will come quicker and faster than you ever imagined. If that man will see me now, he cannot talk to me the way he talked to me at that time. He cannot address me. Of course, you see the billboard all over the town. You must have seen, or they must have told him. He cannot. He cannot. This grace can move you from a nobody to become somebody. This grace can take you from nowhere to somewhere. It is the grace we are under. This is your time for renewal. This is your time to be redirected. No matter the mistake you have done in the past, no matter the obstacle, no matter the challenge, you are here to be renewed. Christ has come to renew you. You have been renewed, so be focused. You may struggle with drugs yesterday, but today you will not struggle. You will be the one that will direct your life. You are in charge of your life now. If they told me 10 years ago, I would not believe it. I will not. I will not. Hallelujah. Jesus is the author and finisher of what? Of our faith. Ten years ago, they told Dangote that you have a refinery. Maybe he wouldn't have believed it. He wouldn't. Yes, it's rich, but if they told him, maybe he would say no. It was like nobody was thinking. But today, he has a refinery. Hallelujah. It is a, he is a God of possibility. He made the impossible to be possible. Just believe in him. Believe in him.
in him. Jesus said, I have come on the knowledge of the books that were written about me. What are the things that you know that were written about you? When they gave back, what were you told? What were you told? It is not over yet. It is not over. Whatever they have written about you, whatever good thing that they have said about you, under this grace, they will come to pass. You will not live in the shadow. You will live it in reality. You will celebrate it in reality. People will gather because of you. This is TNG Ministries. We so much believe in result. If Jesus who is out there is alive, he's active. From glory to glory, from level to level, he can only be upward and forward. Backward never, forward, upward, ever. Hallelujah. Do you see why we have a staircase here? Are you seeing the staircase? Eh? Staircase is always upward. And what? Forward. You are going up and you are going forward. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of us are wondering now, looking, oh, this year has come to an end again. Oh. You will be shocked before 31st. The kind of appointment that will come your way. You will be shocked. Hallelujah. I told you that Last week I told you on a Christmas day when people were celebrating, I was on the way going to Lagos for an interview. I was going to Lagos for an interview. The day they interviewed me, that was the day they said you should come the next day to come and collect an appointment later. Hallelujah. When they gave me the appointment later, I could not believe it. It seems that the whole the year is gone. But that same year, I was given an appointment later. The very first one in my life. Hallelujah. What appointment are you looking for? What recommendation are you looking for? That man that is holding that recommendation later. That man is, that is holding that God has given the key as a link between you and that job. Between you and that marriage, that connector, that one that is there to anoint you, just to connect you, to recommend you, before this year we come to an end, it will locate you. This year will not come to an end. That favor will locate you. That thing that you have hoped for, you have yearned for, you have looked for, you have searched for, this is TMG. Jesus has come to redirect us, to renew us. You have been renewed for that appointment. You have been renewed for that favor. We are the rejected before. Then we are serving with honor. This is your season. Your season of recommendation. This is your season. Your season of favor. This is your season. Your season of expansion. This is your season. Your season to be located. This is your season. Your season to recover. You will pursue. You will overtake. And recover. God is on your side. Jesus is on your side. He's only working out for you. Everything they will work out for you, they will work out for your good. This new year is still your year of opportunity. It's still your year of smoothness. In the mighty name of Jesus. I utter your footstep to the right man, to the right direction, to the right people. I utter your footstep in the mighty name of Jesus. We are the same no before. Then we say yes now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will also recover. In the mighty name of Jesus. That recommendation they will locate you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I comfort 
favor from the north. I come for favor from the south. I come for favor from the east. From the west, I come them for to locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will walk little and read more. Like an elephant. In the mighty name of Jesus, I order your footstep. Indeed, in every part of this year, I order every single step that you take. It will take you closer to that solution. In the mighty name of Jesus, every form of wasted I cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I return you to the right people. In the mighty name of Jesus, see, you will never walk in vain. People will walk and they will give them to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this superactive grace will bring it to pass. I declare and declare this superactive grace will bring it to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release your celebration. May we gather to celebrate you in the name of God the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit.